What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Proverbial Life Podcast. So listen, let's just get this right out, okay? I know I look crazy. I know. I get it. Green, blue, Jets, Duke. I get it, right? If you could look past that for the purposes of the content of this video, that would be of benefit to all of us. <laughs> Um, all right, y'all. So what I want to talk about real quick while I am to my traveling to my next destination is how to make a wise decision. Right? You have you have multiple decisions in front of you. Right? Neither of them are a sin, but you have a difficult decision to make, and you have to make a decision. How do you go about doing that? So I just want to give a couple principles that I think will be helpful. So number one and number one and two go hand in hand right so number one a is pray right number one a pray so go to the lord in prayer continue to pray right number one b not only pray but while you're praying read the scriptures right so so be immersed in prayer be immersed in the scriptures and let those two dance together right let those two come together so as you're reading the word you're reading the word prayerfully as you're praying you're praying biblically right you're praying the word of god and let that go back and forth okay coupled with that okay seek the counsel of others and not just anyone right seek the counsel of godly men and women both alive and dead okay both alive and dead so alive those who um, are preferably in your vicinity so that you can speak to face to face or zoom or whatever other means you use to speak to a person that is alive another way that you can speak to someone who is alive um, is via sermons right like you can hear from godly men and women that you uh, respect and you know you consider to be godly men now if you had to choose between the two if it wasn't a both end the, it, it, you know i would say that if you had the option of having a godly man or woman in front of you that you could meet that you could speak to then then i'm always for that right because they know you they know your life um, they know all those things, right? Um, so I would say do that. If you could do both and, do that, right? Um, and, and obviously, if you have a church that is sound and you respect your pastor, you should go to him, right? You should go to your pastor. Uh, again, he's, he's one of other individuals that you should seek the counsel of. So 1A, pray, 1B, read the scriptures, let those two go together, and then two, seek the counsel of uh, people that are dead and alive, and so the dead part is reading, reading, reading sound books, right, like reading books from theologians that, that have stood the test of time, and you know they've stood the test of time because they've died, and you know their legacy, right, so you know that, that whoever this person is has been faithful to the end because they're gone. And so I would say that that is another option, right? So, um, so those are kind. Of, and then, and then, just real practically, I would say, get yourself a little notebook, right, and write down pros and cons. Okay, these are the decisions that have to be made. These are the pros and cons of this decision, right? And the Lord uses those kinds of means, right? The Lord is not detached from logic. The Lord is not detached from. Um, you know, using using uh, just just like wisdom, right? Using wisdom and and um, you know, let's say for example, you're you're praying about uh, moving to another state. All right, well, let's let's pray. Let's search the scriptures. Let's see what God's will is. Maybe you want to move because of a job opportunity. Okay, um, is this job something that's going to cause you to sin, or is it is it sin? Okay, if it isn't. Uh, it, it's not that it isn't good or wouldn't be good. It just may not be wise for you. It may not be the time for you, right? So you're, you're taking in all these 
factors and then you're laying them out pros and cons okay is this the best for me and my family given the situation we're in right now or would it be better for us to wait a couple months a couple years um you know and then and then seeing maybe um maybe maybe looking at uh, the experiences of your past you know hey in the past when i've made decisions similar to this um they they didn't turn out well because i rushed or because i didn't consider these factors and so i want to take my past faults uh into into play here and then also i want to take my past victories or or learn from the past faults of others and or the past victories of others so these are all the things you want to implement right when you make a decision and then listen when you make a decision, having a good theological foundation is saying, look, God is sovereign over all things, right? So, so I'm not sinning in the decision I'm making, right? But even if I make a misstep, right? Or even if I, I, I with the right heart, choose something that maybe wasn't the best, God is sovereign, right? And God will orchestrate your steps and you can't, mess up the will of God, right? I mean, let's think about that. You cannot mess up the will of God. You say, well, you know, am I out of God's will? Well, even if you sin, right? God can use your sin to turn it around for your good and for his glory, right? And you can look back and go, wow, I didn't make a wise decision here. And I'm not encouraging not making a wise decision, right? But I didn't make a wise decision here. And yet look at God, look at what God did, right? So, don't ignore the means that God has given you, but also know that in the means that you apply, you still may not make a decision that may be the best one. Or just because you're going through hardship and there's challenge and pushback in the midst of your decision doesn't mean it wasn't the right decision either, right? So at the end of the day, you have to make a decision, so make one. Make a decision. What, what? as best as you know, as best as you can fathom in your peanut finite brain, as much as your wisdom and counsel of wisdom of people alive and dead through the scriptures, through prayer, what is it that you desire to do, right? If it isn't sin, what is it that you desire to do? And is it wise? Are you taking your time? Are you praying? Are you going against the counsel of many witnesses? Now, that doesn't mean that it isn't God's will if you go against the counsel of uh, many witnesses. It may not be, though, right? It may not be. And so you take in all these factors and you make a decision. And that is what it means to live by faith. Not a blind faith, but a faith that is informed. And by faith, you make a decision and trust God with the consequences as you seek to obey him, as you seek to submit yourself to the scriptures, and as you seek to move forward by faith. And you fill in that blank of by faith. God knows what that is, right? Your by faith may be little to someone else, but it's huge to you. And so by faith, make a decision, an informed decision, not a spirit of the age decision, right? Spirit of the ages, man, I'm praying about this decision. I don't know what to do. Oh, wait a minute. I see that cloud over there looks like um, a pizza and uh, I like pizza and it's interesting how my interest of pizza and my seeing this cloud looking like a pizza means that God wants me to date this Italian woman, <laughs> right? Oh, she's not a believer or um, she's not uh, someone who is desiring to chase after God, but I've been praying about this. God confirmed it by this vision. Otherwise, why would he give that to me if it wasn't his will? God is in control of all things. Providentially, there's a pizza shape here. See, that's the spirit of the age. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to make an informed decision that is rooted in the scriptures with the counsel of others who have the same desire and you make a decision by faith, not rooted in the spirit of the age, but rooted in sound means that God has provided. All right, y'all, hope this was helpful. This is a short version of how to make a decision, how to make a decision that honors 
our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right, y'all, this is The Proverbial Life, a podcast where we encourage Christians to look to Christ, live wisely, and leave a legacy behind for generations to follow. If you like this video, please like it. If you liked it and were encouraged by it, please share it. Please consider becoming a Patreon and all those other things. The details are in the description below. All right, y'all, grace and peace. Let's get it.